We are counting down to the Oscars. The stars are coming out to shine for Hollywood's biggest night. And what better way to toast to the night's winners than with some fabulous cocktails? We're so happy to have with us our friend Nick Britsky, the mixologist extraordinaire host of Nick Drinks. So nice to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. All right. So perhaps maybe people are just hanging out at home or maybe they're going to a party. What would you say makes a good party when you're talking about some beverages? Well, the fun thing about the Oscars is there's so many different themes. Mm -hmm. If you have a favorite movie, if you have a favorite actress, you can theme a cocktail or you can theme appetizers along to it. So I think that would, that's what's fun about the Oscars is, yes, it's a celebration, it's glitz, it's glamour, it's all the fanciness, but there's all the different movies you can play along with. Yeah, you can get into it. All right, so what are you going to do for us here? So we did a classic with an old cocktail, and we did a new cocktail with one of the current movies. Um, it's the 50th anniversary of Easy Rider. Oh, nice. So we're doing a play on a sidecar. Okay. So with that, we do two ounces of Remy Martin cognac. And um, the thought here is you could take a classic cocktail that you like already and pair it up with an old movie. And it just happened that Easy Rider is 50, 50 years this year. Gotcha. Uh, one ounce of Cointreau, great orange liqueur. And as you're doing this, what yeah. would you say about making a drink from scratch when you're talking about ratios? It's all about balance. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is you start with two parts of a spirit, like, mm -hmm. you know, the Remy, and then you add um, one part sweet and one part sour. So then I have three quarters an ounce of uh, lemon right here. And that is really it. So that'll give you a basis. That's the basis for a margarita. That's a basis mm -hmm. for a daiquiri. And that is kind of the start. Give it a good shake. Give it a good shake. And then we wanted to glitz this up a little bit. So we take our coupe here okay. and we actually got some gold sugar that we're going to put on the rim. Oh, aren't you fancy, Nick? Well, it's the Oscars. It so is the Oscars. Is it going to stick? Not really. <laughs> there, there's just like a little, a little chunk. Just a little chunk. <laughs> we get what you're going for here, though. <laughs> but this is such a great classic cocktail. And, um, you know, this is tasty. It's, it's balanced. It's sweet. It's sour. It's good. Very nice. Okay, and this one? So this one is based on favorite. And the thought here is when you're making a cocktail based on a movie that you like, okay. is find flavors that are paired to it. So favorite being British, we have some gin and we have some tea. So we did an ounce of um, the uh, botanist gin, we did a half an ounce of the Cointreau, mm -hmm. and then we did three ounces of tea and two dashes of bitters. Gotcha. And, and that, when you're coming up with all of these, I was just going to ask you, yeah. I mean, wh what sort of inspires you? Well, and that's the great thing. With the movies, you have all that great inspiration there. But yeah. let's say you see something fun on Pinterest. You see something mm -hmm. fun on Facebook. Take that, um, that great inspiration and see if you can pull flavors out of it. Yeah. You know, England, tea, gin, etc. Hmm. Shall I take a... Please, Boy, you, yeah. You fill this right to the rim. Let's see if, let's I'll see take if I can my, get it over to me here. My gross sugary... All right, should we do a little, little yep. cheers, cheers here? Cheers. All right, let's give it a shot. Mm. Good morning. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> there's tea in that. That's fine. You can do that in the morning. It is very good. Yeah, there's the <laughs> excuse, right? And then just any final bits of advice, you know, if there are certain things that, in terms of ingredients, that are just good to use in cocktails, no matter what you're making. Um, you know, orange liqueurs are great because they're very versatile. Mm -hmm. um, champagne. Champagne is great because it's bubbles and it's yeah. celebratory. Um, cognac. Cognac is based off of um, champagne as well, so you kind of have that similar flavor. Mm -hmm. I think those celebratory things are what's great for the Oscars. Yeah. We love your ideas. We love you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank and you. we'll make sure to have these recipes on our website, WXYZ.com. Just check the scene on 7 Section. We'll be right back.